Hi guys, it's Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Today we are shooting some Santa Ray 1000 film, which is a black and white film made in Finland. And it does feel quite thinner than usual, but it's been a while since we shot black and white. This is that time I've done it again. So we're shooting with my Canon P, my Voigtlander 35 1.7. And yeah, we're just gonna go out, have some fun, shoot some film, bit of day, bit of night. Let's go. Okay, like I said, it's a black and white film from Finland, and it is quite contrasty. And I ran to the skateboarder, so I took some photos. So the first few frames do have a weird coloration, but that's because I think they were slightly exposed to light. Here you can see it a bit more normal. And it is a contrasty film with a lot of grain. It wasn't kidding when it said 1000 ISO. And so it's definitely super grainy and it comes off as not super sharp either compared to lower ISO films and this does tend to be common with quite a few high ISO films and I found with a lot of shots on this roll I kind of took the photo maybe a little bit too early when action was going on my frame was always a bit more off than I was hoping and so I think that's something I need to pay attention to more and just like Waiting like an extra half a second before taking a photo. Cool. Thanks guys, have fun. Even here, you can see the grain is still quite pronounced. And yeah, even though I was on like F8 or 11, it's still not super sharp. There's like a softness even though it's in focus that just tends to happen with high ISO films and also this being apparently a new emulsion maybe it's just how the emulsion is it's definitely not something I would really use for work that I want people to see like super clear and so I wouldn't make like any big prints from it but it still is a fun film and it gave me a good excuse to bring out my rangefinder and take some shots with it yeah, just because it's been a long time since I've shot black and white film and I needed to get a few more black and white shots and so yeah it's kind of nice like I like the contrast quite a bit but the grain is a bit intense and especially because I have shot like Gmax P3200 which doesn't come off as grainy and I've pushed Portra 800 to 3200 and it hasn't gotten as much grain as this. So even while I do like the contrasts, I I don't know what to make of this film really. I have done a portrait shoot with it, which I did like a lot more, but that's because I had controlled lighting. But I don't know, like I do like the contrast quite a lot. But you do lose a lot of detail in the blacks, which depending on what you want might not be the thing you're looking for, but I, I thought some of these shots turned out quite nice. And it was fun just being able to go around and, and shoot on the street again. And of course, if you ever see somebody dressed up as a giant penis, you must take a photo. Mind if I get a it photo? is compulsory and never miss out on the opportunity for it. So this shot probably made my, my whole role to be honest, because who else can say they've taken a photo of somebody dressed up as a giant dick. Now here's where the contrast really does kind of fight against you. Sorry to bother you, can I take a photo of you with your dog? Can I take a photo? <laughs> Thanks for that. Like, obviously the black dog's in shadow. I wish it had swapped places with the white dog because it is almost impossible to see any part of the black dog. And so that shot I'm kind of disappointed didn't turn out, but I guess I needed for the wrong places probably. Now this kind of arcade is usually quite dark, so it was handy getting some exposures here. Now this shot it does have a little bit of motion blur, so it's not exactly the sharpest thing ever. I think my infinity might still be a little bit off, which is kind of annoying, but I might try fixing that up in a bit. Yeah, this shot 
it's unfortunate that she was wearing such dark clothing. And I, I think she did see me in the last second taking the photo. It's a film that, like, I wouldn't say it's a bad film at all, but it's definitely a film where you have to be looking for this specific kind of grainy and contrasty look, which I do know a lot of people like. Um, I don't mind grain, but for some reason, this grain just seems a lot more pronounced than other films I've gotten pushed. While I do like the contrast, I, I just think there's some better films out there. Like, I can just push Tri-X to 3200 and get better grain and contrast, so... It's a film that isn't necessarily, like, a film you have to try, and there's definitely alternatives that are kind of better quality, but it is kind of fun. The, I guess with the softness mixed with the contrast, there is kind of uh, a retro-y kind of vintage-y kind of feel. Kind of like this is the opposite of Retro Pan, which is a very soft and low contrasty film with pronounced green, which I do like more than this. Even like this shot I definitely missed focus. I, I just can't really pinpoint why I like Retropan more than this because they have very similar qualities but there's just something about Retropan that I just seem to like a lot more. This isn't a bad film and it is handy if you need more light but just remember it's super contrasty make sure you meet up for the shadows not for the mids, not for the highlights meet up for the shadows with this one because it does get super dark and you do lose heaps of detail in the shadows, so I definitely didn't realize how contrasty it was going to be because the reference images on the, the website for this film don't come off as looking this contrasty. And maybe part of that is uh, the scanning, but these are still some pretty good looking scans. I think it's fine, like it's not an essential film, and given the price, which I think is like $22, $23 Australian, I, I don't think it's worth that price, even though there, there are stuff I like about it. Sometimes I would like gray, the grain this film has, and I do like the contrast, but it's not something for really shooting at night, even though it is high speed, I feel like you do lose a lot of detail, so maybe it is more of a early evening, afternoon, or being inside during the day kind of film. But it's not exactly a film that is as versatile as I was hoping for. But it's not a bad film by any means. It's just a very niche film with a specific look that I, I would really only recommend if you're going for the kind of look that it has. So. That is my thoughts on the Santa Ray 1000 black and white film. Uh, let me know if it's a film that interests you or if you've shot it before, how you found it. And just let me know your thoughts on the, the film, the images, the camera in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe. Turn on this post notification so you know when there's a new episode. Anyway, I'm Josh. This has been Phrase for a Second. Just get out there, shoot some film.